Good morning. Welcome back to Alma, Missouri and the Missouri farm. Here in Farming Simulator 22, I'm exercising Cricket, the sixth and final horse to be exercised this morning here at the end of September. Yesterday we did those bailing contracts. Uh, we collected on that before the day was over, right? Yeah. I came back here and I got all of our hay baled in between the fields, which was not a whole lot of fun because it got dark on me. Where's Cricket? 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 There we go. Let me turn this on so I can see. Come on. Get clean. Get clean. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think probably about 8 o'clock at night. It was good and dark before we got the bailing all done. Let's put the saddle away here. Check on the status of our horses. We see that looks like Rain and King will reach puberty next month. and They'll be able to reproduce, which will be cool because maybe we'll get free new horses. Uh, we're looking at clean cleanliness and daily riding making sure that we've addressed that for all of our horses Fabio and Taylor are both eight months and Todd and Cricket are both three months so in another three months time I will go ahead and get another pair of horses so September Three, the end of September. Things are quieting down a little bit. Um, take a little quick drive. Kind of drive out this way. Show you all the bale strewn all over the place. <laughs> we need to go collect. Probably today. We don't have much else to do. And then next month in October tomorrow things are going to get real busy as we get into corn and soybean harvest. I don't know about that large U-shaped field that we got last you can see the bales, there's three of them right here um, that U-shaped field I'm not sure when that will be ready it's interesting, when you look in the map you see different Shades of green. Um, for the growth state. And that's why I used to think that maybe you might could um, get a field ready to harvest like mid-month if you were doing multiple day months. Which I guess maybe is not the case. Maybe it's always the beginning of the month. I know on Old Polish Farm I was thinking mid-month that my field would be ready to harvest. But, so I don't know. I'm not 100% sure on that. So we got the soybeans done in that U-shaped field on the last day of the planting month. The last possible day that we could have done it. So, I don't know if it'll be ready I guess it'll probably be ready in November right or the end of November heading down here so we can kind of overlook the alfalfa field but it's going to be so dark we won't be able to see it let's walk over What does what? Oh, this is not. Oh, without climbing. Ugh. 
Yeah, see, look. Yeah. So I don't know. If it's the same shade of green that, like, the cornfield and these soybean fields are. So I wonder if they'll all be ready to go at the same time. <laughs> in October. Which I suppose would be alright. Not really. <laughs> this could be a lot of work. It'd be nice if I had another corn header. put quite a bit of feed in here uh, in the last episode I think I don't know if I did it on camera or off I don't even remember now I think I made two two wagons full so our our cattle are at five months and 17 month which makes me want to buy more tomorrow <laughs> and then let's see we got we got quite a bit of milk we could take some milk this morning i want to take i want to feed the horses do want to feed the horses this morning and then we got our sheep over here how are they doing on producing wool for us? We have got our first full pallet of wool. That's interesting. That top bundle, it's like turned the other way from all the other bundles. That's interesting. Congregating in the building, huh? Quite a few sheep. Uh, check on them too. So our sheep are happy. 100% health, 100% productivity, 100%. They're reproducing. They got good, decent amount of feed in there. That's good. All right. So let's let's get some oats for the horses. I'll go get the track loader. Then maybe I'll go sell milk. I mean, I could do that. I really wanted to get a bobcat. You know how, well, if you've watched the channel for any amount of time, you kind of know how I do things. I like to buy things used because I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> no, I don't know. I like to get more and more stuff. So if I buy a piece of equipment used, that may allow me to buy yet another piece of equipment. I say a guy can't have too many trucks well there's a lot of things a guy can't have too many oh especially if it's different pieces of equipment allow you to do different things and then upgrading the larger more efficient equipment as the opportunity arises let's see can I get I need to park that, whatever, what do you call this, the seed production auger, seed, yeah, I don't know, I gotta, I need to 
park it somewhere a little less in the way so I can get to the Something, <laughs> something got started on. Oh. I get under here. So because it has multiple crops show up, it makes me think that um, these are more like silos. You can store more than one thing in than kind of your traditional bins. It can only store one thing at a time in. so because the game will let me do it I'll probably take advantage of it rather than limit myself to only being able to store three crops here at the farm which will be handy because um, let's see I got oats in the one we just took the oats out of I got barley in the one on the other side so the middle one must have what in it? The middle's got something in it. Um, or maybe that's the one with the barley in it. No, that's the one that's got soybeans in it, but just like 200 liters of soybeans. And that's where I planned on putting the soybeans. I think that's what it is. But I'm going to have corn here when we do the corn harvest. And rather than have to haul all the corn all the way to town, every time I get a uh, trailer full, it'd be nicer to be able to put it in the bin and then just spend some time moving it all to the corn dryer later. I think if I dump it here, it's okay. Yeah. If I can, can I get that straw bale? If I could, if I could get this straw bale into the bucket, I can move it back into the trigger for bedding. I don't know if you see or not. A lot of times farmers will use a bucket with like a grapple on it. Yeah, they'll even pick up bales that way. I'd like to try that. Uh, I thought it was going to work. <laughs> I got tricked. Oh, it's sliding into the bucket just fine. I'll have to come over with the bale spikes and do that later. Shortcut. I'm not going all the way around. If I didn't have the uh, International and the feed mixer parked in the alley, I'd just go right through the cow barn, too. <laughs> So we're gonna have to go around and pick up all those hay bales probably today would be a good idea. I think first I'll just I'll take a load of milk into town. That's gonna be most of a trailer, I think. It'd be nice to make a little money. Now we're not gonna take it to the the what do you call it? The little building, the kiosk. We will take it to the dairy, which I've never been to the dairy, so I'll figure out where the uh, trigger is on that to deliver it. Pretty. We've got a decent amount of milk. 
store it up. So let's hop in our Mac Trucks RS 700L. Right here. I don't remember how much this oh, might hold more than. Yeah, it's not even a full, a full tank. I thought it would be, you know. I guess not. It holds even more than I thought. We can let it go a little longer next time, I guess. Why am I checking prices? I don't know. I want to. It just seems like the right thing to do, but I don't think. <laughs> thirteen forty-eight at the bakery, thirteen fifty-four at the dairy, thirteen thirty-eight at the diner restaurant, and two thousand one eleven at the selling lodge small. So best price other than selling lodge small, which really is there visually for the. Um, Firewood sales, so we're going to the dairy. here somewhere oh no but I don't want it they'll take milk too I don't want to take the milk bakery I want to take it to the dairy so I need to see do I get another trigger come up over here somewhere yep so this is the dairy trigger here Maybe if 
if I back up. Out here okay so we're gonna spend some money here uh, although <laughs> not on the combine this I'm still not a hundred percent sure on so our cultivator is six meters this is 8.4 but it's shallow so it's different and it's half off so it's only 45 grand but we need these trailers so let me go ahead and get them configured and bought and uh yeah we'll <laughs> get on with our day so see you once i got this figured out Okay, so I just went with the trailers for now. I'm gonna have to struggle, have a struggle session about the, uh... <laughs> about the cultivator for a little while longer. So we'll head out, we'll get one of the Semi trucks will come back and we'll pick uh, these trailers up. What I'll probably do is I'll move the step deck across the across the road, across the street here, put it over in the uh, what you call it, over by the corn dryer, and we'll take the cattle box home. That way we'll have the step deck down here and we buy another piece of equipment. Potentially we can put it on the back, I don't know. Or we'll just come and get it again later. I gotta think about it. Maybe I could keep the cattle box over as a livestock dealer. I don't know. Or we'll take it back, figure out if we got room for it. I'd see it back out of the farm. Or maybe back down here with one of the other trucks. See how it works out. So I'm arriving back in town with our cab over truck. I wish it had a Jacob break. Make it just all that much better. But I guess it's what we have. So I was pulling away, I was looking at the way the the livestock trailer was sitting. It looked really down at the front. I hope it's not like stuck in the pavement or anything silly like that. It is a modded one with a greater capacity. So. I think it's okay. I hope it's okay. I think it'd be alright. I'm gonna grab the drop deck for now this is the one that it's it's a mod and it's uh um, Try 
Let's see if we can lift the trailer up so we can get under it. I have no idea if this will work. Maybe I need something bigger than this. So. to get that straight back uh, on a TLX truck I think the X2 back it didn't work Is it gonna be enough and it needed to be, wasn't it? Alright. So we got our cattle trailer now. Let's take it out. 
down to the farm. back at the farm we've got our livestock trailer with us i'm not sure where to park it i imagine somewhere over by the barn not 100 percent sure it's not small i'll give you that much uh let's see. Can I get around the tanker trailer down at the bottom by the slurry pond? To turn it around. gonna regret this I'm thinking. <laughs> I'll make it work. We'll get there. Oh boy. Yeah there's room. It'll be fine. It's gonna be fine everybody. I'm telling you it's alright. It'll be fine. Plenty of room here for this to happen. Yeah. It'll be okay. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. going to be its permanent home, but for now, Okay, um... I guess we probably ought to start collecting up hay bales. The other thing I wanted to try is I wanted to see if I could mulch where I've already put down manure. Do you remember what tractor we were using with this? I don't. What tractor was I using to pull this? Was it the International? No, it was the um, John Deere 
to my PS5 controller because I haven't played like a sports game, which is usually when I get overly aggressive with the, <laughs> with the sticks. But I suppose probably trying to turn my head rapidly. I've got the speed of the uh, steering and also the visual change, like toned down a little bit so it doesn't snap around too much. And then when I want to snap my head around, I end up pushing the stick too hard. It's kind of like a, I don't want it to be too rapid for the bit, uh, the recordings. But then when I want to look for traffic at an intersection, I think that might be what it's from. Look, it's doing it again. Ooh, that was not, that was not lined up as centered as I thought I was. So doing it this way is going to take a little bit of time. <laughs> I could do it the easy way and grab an auto load trailer. And... Oh, you know what? We can use that step deck to deliver bales. It's got an auto load option. We could turn that on just to deliver the bales. That'd be a good thing. So I'm gonna drive around, collect up bales. We'll either do it as a time lapse or a jump cut. That's how I'm gonna spend a little bit more time today. Uh, and then later, we'll, maybe we'll check on that mulching and do some more manure spreading. I think it was about 30 hay bales we got to pick up.
okay I think this is the last bail it's what 1045 this took some time probably would have been better to bring the trailer out into the field and load it onto there would have been fewer trips I didn't think that I had a lot to do I've been considering it now that I've been out here working uh, like I've said before it gives you time to kind of think collect your thoughts and so on um, I realized there is some grass over on the east side of the horseshoe field that could be cut and then I also have all the ditches that I could cut so I think this afternoon I'll come back and do that uh, it's going to start raining fairly soon probably around 11 o'clock uh, the case maxim needs looks like quite a bit of work it could be the weight that's bringing it down a little bit because I generally don't maintain the weights even though it don't hardly cost nothing I don't know I guess maybe I should just do it so it doesn't throw me off on how much maintenance what I'm driving requires because the different components the front loader the bale spike, the weight, the tractor, all kind of aggregated into what you see there on the maintenance bar, as if it was just a machine itself. So, this is going to take some maintenance, obviously. My bales are not quite on there straight. I'm going to take these, actually, over to the sheep. Because why not? Might as well give them some more feed while I can. I don't know if I'll take them both. Probably will. Can't hurt, right? So, get the gates open here. Take some more. A in for the sheep, even though they'll eat just grass, but I don't have a baler because I have the wrapper on there. If I try and bale grass, it's just going to want to wrap it. I wish you could turn that off. Should have been something they maybe thought to put on there. But... Oh, it took them both. Nice. Must work for me. Okay, so let's just make sure we're not going to hit the gate. Let's fold those spikes up. We'll go do some maintenance. Probably, uh... have lunch while it's raining and maybe we'll come out and we'll grab the John Deere mower and go see if we can cut some grass. First things first. This is going to get a free wash here in a minute with the rain, but I think I will wash it with the pressure washer first. Just because it is a filthy mess and I want to work on it and it's much nicer to work on a clean vehicle than it is a dirty one. Again, you can just stand in one place and uh, spray on it and it's going to clean it. You don't have to move around and spray the whole vehicle like I do. but. I do it for the immersion. There's a lot of things you don't have to do the way I do them. This could use some fuel too. I'm going to back it around. I don't know which is the fuel tank. Yeah, it's probably that one on the side. I think I should be able to get it right here. And I don't go back into first person because I'm using this CSZ bail spike, which 
gives you another view of the bail spikes that I don't always like. So 142 to fix the front loader. $63 to, I'm just gonna fix the weight. I, it's only $63, it'll go away then. Oh my goodness, $6,215 for the tractor. $16 for the bail spikes. All is right in the world. Let's fill it with fuel. We just refilled the gravity tank not that long ago, so. We'll just go ahead and we'll leave it right there. Um, we're going to grab the 4755 real quick because it's not raining yet. Was I calling a 4475 for a while? <laughs> I don't know. Forty-seven fifty-five. Seventy-seven forty-five is the Z-Tour Turbo on Pol the old Polish farm. This is the knife roller. So this is what we usually use to mulch the fields. It's a Dalbo Maxi Cut. What I want to do is I put manure down on this field before I mulched it. I don't know what happens when you do that. If you can go back and mulch it even though you already put a fertilizer state down on it or not. So that's what we're here to find out. We're going to unfold the bolt of the uh, knife roller here. And I guess I should get a long an edge. And I'll run up and do a strip that I can pull up with the map and identify it. I don't know if the roller affects the grass or not. back and see. Yeah, it does. No. Does it? I can't tell. Well, that'll tell me for sure. Oh, I can mulch it. I can mulch it. That's what it looks like it's doing. So is that enough to see on the map? I think so. Crop type. We want this screen. It is showing up as mulched. So, yep. Okay, question asked and answered. So we can mulch this field uh, with the mulch tiller, even if we have spread the manure on it. So it doesn't matter what order we do that in. So it's not how I want to spend my time right now. And there is a, it's, it's actually, it's not a cultivator, it's a disc arrows that I'm looking at that, it, like our mulch tiller, that will mulch and plow, this disc arrows will mulch and cultivate. So if I can do both processes with one pass on the field, given how large these fields are, that should be my preference. So I'm tempted to purchase the that cultivator. I'm gonna have to do some research over lunch, if and when it rains. I think it will.
early. Thought it'd be raining by now. I'm gonna have an early lunch then. And then I'll wait for the rain to end. And maybe we'll do a little bit of grass work. Which will of course take us up until dark. But I don't think that John Deere mower we bought is going to work in the ditches, so we'll probably have to do something else with that. I think I might make silage bales. Because we got enough hay bales, I think, for a while. I'll see you after lunch when it stops raining, or I don't know. I'll just see you later. All right, I accidentally <laughs> clicked it on to easy. Um, it started raining. Or stopped. Stopped raining. Oh, my goodness. I'm tripping over myself here. Uh, trying to figure out. We only got like eight minutes left in the episode. So, um, yeah. Let's, let's hop in here. It stopped raining. It's 3 o'clock now. have that lowered I do let's go okay so let me try and say what I was trying to say <laughs> earlier it stopped raining it started raining around noon it stopped around three o'clock so it's clear now uh, while I was turning off the uh, Speeding through time, I sped up time for the rain just to include a little of it. I accidentally clicked off the, uh, the what do you call it, the difficulty setting down to easy, so I put it back. It's back on normal, which is how we run it. Now, I wasn't going to talk as I drove over here, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, and I'm not going to time lapse this either. It's late in the day. Here's what I plan on trying to do. I wanted to try and mow the ditches, but whoa! Oh. Ah. Okay, so. <laughs> ah. I was cautioned about this with these, this type of piece of equipment. <laughs> Did exactly what. You have to be very careful with it. If you have a hydraulic failure, the steering is hydraulic. It's not mechanical. And if you lose uh, pressure or something, it, it'll it react poorly. Also, the rear wheels are on casters, see? So it is, at times, difficult to control. And I just cost myself some soybean crop there by <laughs> demonstrating <laughs> that difficulty in control. So we need to be careful with this thing and no quick steering inputs, especially near a field. I'm not going to have time to do the uh, mowing the ditches. So what we're going to do is we are going to mow the grassy area on the border of this uh, horseshoe shaped field and what we'll do since this uh, mower swaths we're going to come back through with our baler and we're going to make silage bales I think it's swathing it isn't it actually it doesn't look like it is as always with the new piece of equipment, let's pull up the help. It is swathing it, it's just not a nice tight swath. But I think it might work with the baler, that's what we'll try. The idea is here, is that we're going to mow with this, uh, kind of this edge of the field, there's some grass up around the back that gives us a little greater quantity and we're going to see if we can just come out with the baler pick this swath up 
and uh, make silage bales out of it. I might try, nah, I may try to mow in the ditch, but I know and I believe, I've been told that it doesn't like uneven ground. I believe that to be true. Oh, geez, took out some more soybeans. I believe that to be true. Um, and I think uh, it's not going to be very good for doing what I kind of hoped it would do. I didn't know it in advance, but I believe, I have no reason to doubt what I was told. That it doesn't work on uneven terrain very well. Regardless, it's pretty cool. I wanted to get the swather. It's more expensive and it hasn't shown up used yet and we're in debt so it's not time for us to buy the swather yet. If we have a lot of money maybe we'll do it but we don't have a lot of money so we're going to need to be a little more careful and judicious with how we spend it. So that's the plan for the rest of the day, now that I only have a few minutes left, uh, is that we're going to cut grass, we're going to wrap it, and we're going to bale it and wrap it for silage. That's the plan. Tomorrow we'll be ready to do a corn harvest, and perhaps some soybean harvest. There's also that massive cornfield on the south side of the county road that I'm going to be sorely tempted if it becomes available as a contract to want to take it. I don't know if that's going to be a really <laughs> good idea because we've got all of our fields to do too. But we got two month window to try and get it all done. We could pull it off. Besides, when have we ever bit off more than we could chew, right? So yeah, actually, we're going to get quite a bit. Uh, there's quite a bit of grass here. Uh, so what we're saving is we're saving the windrowing. The time we would have to spend windrowing it. This also might come in handy for cutting you know, I don't know the alfalfa I was thinking but probably not <laughs> it's probably not going to be real good for that I'll go back, I'll probably try and get that little bit too I want to get as much as I possibly can just because I'm greedy like that. So we're going to get close to the tree line here. Hopefully we can get most of this. I'd like to thank you for hanging out with me here in Alma, Missouri. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you don't subscribe yet, why not? Don't cost nothing. See you next time. Station.